the E to the U to the E, man. That doesn't like the worst sound. Come on. We're here in Grand Central right now. Just got off the train. This place looks pretty amazing. Wow. Rockefeller Center right now. I don't think I'm doing too bad of a job of navigating. Alicia would say differently. Kind of had us going in the wrong direction at first, but I blame Google Maps and New York. So I think I'm still pretty good. Yeah, it definitely would be better to see this at night. <laughs> Look at that tree. That tree though. I was like a picture. Oh no! I'm trying to keep my eyes peeled to see if uh, my friend Keith's uh, steamed peanut butter company has their ad going anywhere here. I know he has one sign that plays like every few minutes I think. Or every few minutes, every hour or something like that. Could be anywhere though, I'm not really sure where. Elite series figures over here. Escalator located on your left. More magic upstairs on our second level. Twenty-five bucks. What? Yeah, that's crazy. Crazy awesome. I'd show you more of these, but. Some of these are a little spoilerific, so I'm not going to show you. It's like this. One of the biggest Toys R Us store in the world, I'm assuming. We got Scoops R Us over here. Ooh, I like the sound of that video game.
Six Lincoln Seer. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dollar. Put a dollar. That's it. That's all. Zoltar, you worked us. I understand that. It says Darth Vader made out of staples. could be transformed into an She was crazy. It would take a lot of but we got recycling Darth Vader. Quantities of greenhouse gases. We could drill oh, wow. on Mars. Eventually, frozen carbon dioxide at the poles would vaporize. The atmosphere would thicken and the ground would thaw. Bacteria, algae, and then plants would be introduced. Gradually to my hand. the planet. It could take hundreds of years, but eventually. Mars could have a reawakening. What is that? From Mars, fragment It seems far-fetched, but just 100 years ago, horseback was the primary right, means of travel. Imagine a hundred years from now. Imagine a thousand. We can stay on Earth and await extinction. Ooh. <laughs> What's up in there? This is day five of my six day weekend. Went to uh, New York this weekend. Probably going to include some of the clips here just because it won't make sense in a weekend adventure video. It's a lot of just touristy shit. I'm actually getting really into reading Star Wars books. Um. I think in last week's episode of the weekly vlog I talked about possibly making a Star Wars channel to talk about like the books and the expanded universe and shit like that and whatever's canon and I did that um, I'll leave a link down in the description of this video for you to find We really saw her. Our channel is called Star Wars Book Club. 
as far as I can tell, there's no other channel with that name on YouTube. So, there's that, at least. And I might take either today or tomorrow to work on some videos for that channel. Shouldn't interrupt anything that's on this main channel, although I will say I am exploring some options with changing the name of this channel. Uh, me and the rest of Canadian Justice were, uh, that's, that's Danny and, and Rob Mitchell, Roaming Dan and Rob Mitchell, for those who aren't in the know. We were going over some options, um, if I can get to the link, if I could please just get to the link, I, I seriously, iTunes, if I want you to close, close. All right, ideas for channel name. Um, first up, this is the one I came up with. It's probably the most drastic different name. Uh, Zodimus Gaming. That's just a play on mixing my old username, which was Zodimus, and Zod XOD. Um, and using that as like a the new name for the channel uh probably the least likely one i'd go with then there's also we got cory collects uh collecting with cory cory's game finds cory's collection now uh, there's one rob came up with uh cory collects classics in connecticut or actually i think he had it as connecticut cory collects classics calling it c4 um and then there's Corey's Collecting Corner. So, I don't know. It might change, not change at all. It might change, I don't know. We'll see. So let me know in the comments below. If you have any ideas, I'd really like to hear them. Even if that idea is just to stay with what it is. Uh, I feel like keeping my name as the channel name is kind of like stunting the growth of the channel a little bit. Seeing as I watch people... I don't know, I, I talked about this last video, so I'm not going to elaborate on it. And we're on day six. My last day off. Because of Danny, I got a lot of editing to do. And a lot of games to put away. Very thankful. Be sure to go check that out. Should be up in a mail time episode on Wednesday. So, stay tuned. Alright guys, so what's going on today? What have I been doing? I've been working on a few videos. I've shipped an eBay item. I'm baking cookies. I'm baking cookies right now. Unfortunately, I'm only going to eat like two of them myself. Uh, because they're actually for someone from work. It's part of a Secret Santa gift. Turn this fucking TV off. Um, and we've had a casualty, uh, when I was putting away games, hold on, the games cast is too loud, um, it was a casualty, we had a casualty here today, very unfortunate, um, my dear friend took a hit, it's not going to be the same ever again. A rogue Super Nintendo game fell, and I couldn't stop it. Optimus Prime has lost his hand. Very unfortunate. Uh, we don't have any super glue in the house right now, so I'll fix it eventually. Hopefully it'll be fine. Um... And I'm kind of kicking myself because as I've been getting more into video game collecting, I really should have just moved it. I really, really should have just moved it. I have the boxes that it came in originally. I have him and I have Soundwave still in the house. I also had Ironhide and Shockwave, but I put those out in the shed in their boxes. Uh, so those two are nice and safe. And this one could have been, but I was stubborn. I was fucking stubborn. So now he lost a hand. It's 
finally arrived. The day I have to go back to work. All right, stop hesitating, let's go. All right, I'm gonna be rocking some new shirts. Welcome to Tatooine. Got this baller ass Kylo Ren shirt, which I think I'm gonna wear tonight. It's game night tonight, and of course we have just a casual distressed uh, rebel symbol right there. I had to get some Star Wars shirts in my lineup. All I had was the Chewbacca expression shirt, so I had to step my game up a little bit. All right, guys, it's Christmas Eve. Um, yeah, heading to work. Probably one of my least favorite days of the year to work. You know, it's it, like Christmas Eve to me has always felt like a holiday in and of itself. Um, like today is the day we spend time with our family, in my family at least. So it's always just like kind of dumb to have to work on that day. That'd be like going to work on Thanksgiving to me. Or it's just like, what the fuck? Why? Like, this is a family day. So, I'm always a little bit frustrated. And historically, it also is a day when everybody is trying to, like, weasel their way into leaving early. Because, oh, I gotta go do this thing or that thing. And it's just like, I always end up being the guy that has to close the pharmacy. So, I actually brought a book today. <laughs> if I'm going to be at work and I'm going to be bored, I'm going to get some reading done. Because fuck it. Let's hope today isn't as bad as I think it's going to be. I so. hear the same thing. It's, it's nice. so great. <laughs> <Wait, yeah. laughs> oh my god. 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 Jordan. 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 It's a brother. That guy's a car. I'm not even style my music. Awesome. <laughs> Did you already have that game too? Cat puked on my what? slippers. <laughs> what a fuck! Oh, wow. <laughs> like puke residue on my yeah. slippers. Your cat. Okay, open something. Oh, okay. I don't have any gloves. It's perfect. Here. Awesome. <laughs> Not the bird with the feathers. <laughs> oh, okay. That's rough. That's mine. She's high. Oh. Okay. Next. <laughs> Yay! Yes. 
It's a glorious. Awesome. I just got a couple pair I'm going to throw away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the ones with the holes in them and they're getting thin. That's good. Mm -hmm. Awesome. This is so I have to replace them. <laughs> So, some of my presents I was there for, oh, and she you. took them out of my hands. Pretty sure this is a world of Nintendo. Nope. Nintendo World exclusive. Uh, the 8 bit Red Link. The cat cleaning herself. <laughs> she is so offended right now. I just had half a cheek out. Okay, I was not thrilled. Alright, guys. Huh? Close the door. That's a lot of work. So, uh, let's quickly go over what I got for Christmas. I got a ton of shirts. At least she got this bag from me. A bag of some sort. I don't know what it's called. So that's someone else's name on it. I don't know. Betty Johnson. I'm a little bit sick. Um, I've produced more phlegm today than anyone in the history of the world lifetime. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like. Three new sets of pants, a belt, which hopefully I'm going to be able to fit into, two hats, which we're going to have to stretch out a little bit because my dome is too big. Um, basically, all the World of Nintendo figurines that exist. I don't know, at least all the 8 bit ones that I'm, I've seen. Um, I know that they have an alternate Mario one, which we picked up in a weekly vlog at some point. But I'm actually going to be shipping that one out to Rob Mitchell because he collects them too. Um, but I think this is like a Nintendo World exclusive. I haven't seen it anywhere else. It's the Red Link, which is pretty cool. Uh, we got some LED tweezers. We're picking out nose hairs and shit. Some Aquadigio, so I can stop smelling like a bum. If we if we had smell vision you guys wouldn't watch my channel. Probably. I don't know. Nah, I smell okay. I'd smell better with that. Uh, we got Ike and the modern 8-bit Mario Amiibo. We got Super Mario Maker, a Darth Maul Disney Infinity figure, Mario Golf World Tour, as I lose my ability to speak. Got Complete in Box Pinbot, which actually stole one of my box protectors from it and I didn't even notice. And of course, the NES top loader complete in the box, which basically, sorry to say it guys, invalidates all your Christmases. Sorry. Sorry. But it's mine. And she's mine. So, let me know what you ended up getting for Christmas. Let me know how your Christmas was. Hope you had a merry one. Like the video.
subscribe if you're new. Let's hope I get a little bit better. We also got a cupcake ornament. She had a pink one, I have a blue one. And as always, oh my god, look at me, I'm a mess. Keep it real, internet.